What distinguishes the Working Professionals programs from all the other programs at Daniels is they're focused on working professionals. In other words, people who are working while they're going to school. And that gives you the opportunity to take a different approach in the way that you design curriculum. Basically, we want people to essentially be able to go to school on Friday and go apply their learning on Monday. The PMBA program is, is a pretty dynamic program with respect to the classroom and how we do what we do in that you don't get your standard classroom lecture uh, that you would expect a graduate level program to have historically. Uh, it's very interactive. Uh, our students are, are challenging and uh, like to be challenged. The practical way of uh, doing business is integrated with the theory. In fact, in our programs, we speak that much about the theory and that much about the application of the theory that they're all early career professionals and they're very good at their technical competency, the technical skill that they get paid to do at work. They need that little extra boost and knowledge and understanding the business of business to do what they need to do to move to that next level of management and leadership. The students here learn so much more from each other because of the cohort. And you really learn how to leverage the executive power of the other people in the cohort. Because you're not learning just from the professor, you're learning so much from your colleagues. And those colleagues stay with you for 20 years after you graduate. The whole differentiator for Daniels College of Business is this power of collaboration. Getting people to come together, have a great idea, get to people to come together and create a strong strategy. And because they already are together, they will sure as heck execute. That's a fundamental difference than other MBA programs that just teach accounting and finance. We take you sailing, we take you international, we make you do mergers and acquisitions and case studies together. It builds the confidence of, of collaborative teams, it builds the confidence of decision making process so that when people are out in the world, they feel great about bringing teams together and making great decisions and putting them into the marketplace. Executive education are our non-degree programs uh, aimed at, at working professionals, and there's really two flavors. The largest part of our, of our executive education business is our custom corporate or our custom program business. And again, the idea there is, is to unbundle the executive MBA or the professional MBA, take modules, mix and match modules for a particular corporation or organization, customize them to that organization and deliver that to a specific company. Now what's interesting as an example would be um, rather than just doing a generic finance class, we would actually do a class where they would understand and analyze the financial statements from their own company. The other type of executive education programs we have we either call open enrollment or public courses and those are courses in which we take a module, if you will, out of the executive MBA or the professional MBA, unbundle it and provide that to the audience for a particular area. So, for instance, we can have Finance for Non-Financial Managers, which is a program focused on helping working professionals learn the basics of finance. about DU's reputation and I was looking for a program when I decided to go to grad school that would allow me to continue working because I didn't want to give up two years of work experience while earning my MBA. Where, you know, to be a manager you need to know all of these um, financial models or marketing tools but to be a leader you need to understand human nature. 
For me, one of the big game changers was the cohort program. Uh, as a working professional, there's no question that the necessity to be able to work within cross-functional teams within a siloed organization is absolutely imperative. And there's no better place to practice that than day in and day out with your cohort. You definitely r rely on other team members, but how do you engage those team members? And that is the challenge, and that is what I learned most in dealing with people in relationships, is finding that thing that will motivate someone else, inspire someone else, and engage them to the ultimate goal. I, when I came into the program, what I did is, is I would learn uh, things in class and then I would take them to my business and apply them uh, immediately. And what wound up happening is while I was getting my education, I was actually building a leadership team and management operating structure uh, that we still use to this day and has become the foundation for all growth. 